Here I have a Tunisian hat in African stitch. I'm using a 10 millimeter, no, I'm sorry, a 9 millimeter size MN hook or US size 13. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the way I just came up with um, finishing off this hat instead of decreasing, which is um, something I don't do too well. I want to just gather the hat sort of the way you would on a loom knit. Um, anyway, just go across your row and pick up your stitches the way you would a regular African stitch. This is the Hobby Lobby worsted. I love this yarn. I love it. It's nice and soft for a little preemie head. Go. Okay, here's the last three stitches. One, two, three. Um, we're going to work these in African stitch or Tunisian simple stitch. And I like to work through the two loops right here on the end because it gives it a nice finished edge. Okay, to do the pull through, we're not going to pull and work off the two stitches at a time. What I do is I just sort of move everything to the hook. I have 34 loops on the hook right here. And I'll very carefully go through all of these loops at one time. Just careful, hold the hook still. If you have to hold your elbow up a little bit, that helps. And I'm just pulling the work off of the hook instead of pulling the hook through. Okay, and it makes it nice and snug. And then I'll just do a regular old crochet slip stitch. And what I'll do is I'll leave a tail to sew the seam here in the back, oops, the seam in the back of the hat and um, to close the hat. And I'll, of course, snip that tail later. Um, over there, and your hat will basically look like that. I have the seam in the back, and this is the wrong side. This is the right side. Isn't that a cute, colorful hat? It's the Lion, uh, it's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn brand, and it's their some sort of bright color neon or something, but it's the worsted weight size, and I'm using a size 9 millimeter US 13 MN size hook. That's it. But that's the way I do my pull through to gather at the top. Thank you for watching.